Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today I just have these things that I've um, like gessoed and I thought might be fun to put a little watercolor and decorate. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna start, I think, with this envelope that I um, put a little gesso on. I took out the window. Um, I was thinking of putting a window back in, but I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and then have a card that slides in and out of there. Um, it's a coffee dyed, just, um, junk mail envelope that had the big window and I like that because then I can take like this picture and put it on a card and have it slide in and out you know so I think that'll look pretty cool that's my great great I think it's two greats grandfather <laughs> it's hard to uh keep everybody straight you know all right so I think I'm the first thing I'm going to do is add a little color and all I did to this one was I did add a little uh, tissue paper, I think, just the Tim Holtz tissue paper, it looks like. Oh, no, there's some tissue paper here. And then um, some gesso, just to kind of make it so that you could add a little bit of color. They do have um, something, I can't remember what it's called now, and uh, people mentioned it the last time I mentioned this on a video. But um, it's um, like a resist or something that you can put on to other uh, surfaces other than um, watercolor paper to make it more like watercolor paper. I don't have any of that. So I'm just using, um, I put the tissue paper on with my matte gel and then I used gesso to sort of ready the surface or make it so that it's not gonna suck up um, the color as much as it would if it was just the color. I mean, it is gonna obviously suck up some color because you know, not a perfect situation here, but um, I'm just using what I've got. But you can get that, and I'll try to put a link in the description box below this video for that on Amazon. I'm sure there's you can get it at um, art stores too, though, so don't feel like, you know, you have to go to Amazon. You can go wherever you like to buy art supplies too. But I just think it's fun to add some color to this stuff. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. I could have just done these, but I thought maybe they want to see, even though we just did watercolor yesterday. I don't know what I did with my little squirt bottle. So I guess I'm not using it today. Probably took it to fill it up and forgot to fill it up. That sounds right. So yeah, I just went and ran some errands with my son. And uh, really enjoying having him home missed him immensely so it's just been fun I mean not that we were doing anything exciting it's just it's just nice to have him around he lost like 15 pounds this year it's like you're supposed to gain weight when you're a freshman <laughs> but it was the whole gluten-free thing it's just kind of funny because he He's kind of a spring bean. I want this color purple because then it'll go with that a little bit. So yeah, just, just playing around. Obviously, you do not um, need to do this. You can just um, do the gesso, do a little gold if you want or whatever. Ooh, let's add a little gold. That made me think of gold. just something different. I'm up for different because, you know, I get bored easy. I have one of those brains, unfortunately, in some ways. Some ways it's good, but keeps me creative, I guess, but sometimes it is a detriment. have to always be changing things up. I think we all do kind of get in our little ruts though, for sure. And I might even add a little color on the inside for when you take the photo out. Be able to have a little something back here. I 
And then, of course, this is going to have to dry before I can do a whole lot else, but we can just move on to another something to do. And I'm just using um, some Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. It is the brown, because I like that brown, because I also like how it oxidizes. And then I'm just using some navy paint, you know, there. And I don't have the names. I mentioned, uh, I think it was yesterday, that I didn't save the names of all of my paints that came um, with the Arteza 36 set. But it is that set, so you might be able to go, you know, check. It might have a listing of the colors on their website. So at least that's a possibility. They're not fancy ones that I bought separately or anything like that. That's just a set of Arteza. I just didn't really think about it when I, when I got those. Okay, so then we're gonna do this card for the photograph to go on. And this was just book page. I added a bit of, um, sewing tissue so you can kind of see the directions and the lines and whatever and then I put gesso over it and let it dry so that's going to be my background for this card. I'm going to grab my cutter forgot to do that before I started and then we need to figure out kind of what size we need here so we're going to go with five wide. Kind of like that end better, or that side better. Five. Oh, it's not even five as it is. Hmm. I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit. And then this way, I'm going to have to cut a little off of this too because it's not square. So let's say we'll go by six. I somehow did not cut very straight. Well, it's also wrinkled from being coffee dyed and everything else. So I just get an idea. I have to cut just a tiny bit more off of that. <clears throat> just to make sure once it's glued and everything that it fits. I'm going to tear my picture down a little bit because this is just a photocopy. This isn't the original. And I want to make it smaller. I don't need all of this background. I like this piece, but... Just want enough to... Ah. have it pop through that window. Oh, that window is bigger. So let's go like this. Forgot about that part. And I'll also have to put it so that <clears throat> um, yeah, I forgot about that. Darn. It's going to have to Kind of go over to the side just a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think it'll work right about there. It can go that way a tiny smidge, but so I'm just kind of getting a visual of how much room is left there <laughs> because I'm going to paint on here first. <clears throat> kind of like this copper color. I would have remembered to grab my little water bottle. If it was a snake, it would probably bite me, but... So, how are you guys? I don't know if I said that. I apologize. I think I did. Been up to anything fun? Is it getting warm where you're at? It's gotten real warm here. So.
so weird how fast it did that. It's like already kind of that ick hot. Oh my goodness, hold on I just that was right next to me over there. <laughs> uh, telling you. I've had people say they try this and it doesn't look as good as when I do it. I think it's just kind of our own perceptions of our own artwork. I think we're always like super critical of ourselves. And of course, mine's going to look different than yours just because, I mean, clearly I'm somebody else. So, because um, I really have not watercolored a whole lot in my life. Other than, you know, like when you're a kid or whatever. So I, I know that if you play a bit a bit with your watercolors and just don't, it's like collage and all those things. You just can't think about it a ton because the more you do that, then the, you know, more it kind of stresses you out. So that would be my best advice is just kind of play and not think of maybe doing anything specific or wanting it to look a super specific way or something just um playing around because that's really that's all I'm doing is just playing around with colors and whatever but you can't get super critical because when you start doing that to yourself it's it's just it might be coming out wonderfully, but you're going to think it's not, if you see what I'm saying. So just try not to be super critical, because that just is always a, a bugger when you start that. I'm just going to, I don't know, like kind of scribble all over this. This is my Stabilo All, and that is uh, Stabilo All. And I got that on Amazon, but I think, again, that's something you can get in most art stores. Any water-soluble uh, crayon, pencil, what have you, will do that kind of thing. Because it that's the whole idea of water-soluble. So I'm going to get this dry, the two pieces, and then I'm going to come back and we'll decorate these ones. Okay, I am back. So this is mostly dry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue that so that I can get it trimmed to the right size or attempt to. The other one's just about dry. So we're just going to glue the two sides and hopefully that's all I'm going to glue. You never know though. Could decide to just glue it shut. That's always a possibility. You guys cracked me up because everybody was like, I was yelling at you. I know I'm deaf, so sorry. <laughs> when I was trying to glue pockets together the other day, if you didn't see my video. I'm, I'm pretty good at that. So anyways, I do it quite frequently, especially when I'm videoing. I think it's because I'm trying to talk to you guys and I really need to be concentrating on what I'm doing and then, you know, I don't and ta-da. See, this is all wonky with how it got cut. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. So I'll try to even it up a little bit. Part of it is that the pocket's a little warped, just ever so slightly. Okay. How I got it so bad. Who knows? It's not going to be the straightest pocket. Okay, we're going to ink it a little bit. That's the only thing when you coffee dye. It does get pretty wonky sometimes. Well, and then I took the pocket out and heat set it and did all kinds of stuff to it, so... It's just a junk mail envelope. <laughs> It'll be fine. 
That's the awesome part. If you really want to just try stuff, use your junk mail. Just try things on junk mail because then you don't feel bad if it doesn't turn out. You're like, huh, oh, throw it away. But if it does, then you got a cool idea that you could use on paper that you might, you know, spend a little more on or whatever. Because, like, um, watercolor paper isn't the cheapest paper. So it's fun to kind of just play on some other paper. To try it, see what you get. I'm liking this. I like the colors. And I love the tissue paper. I've decided I really like that. Just white tissue paper over here. This is Tim Holtz that has the black lettering on it. But um, this part is just white tissue paper. But it, um, well, you can see it, but it adds a whole lot of texture. So I do like that very much. All right, so let's make sure this is going to fit before we go decorate the whole thing up. And then we're like, um, it doesn't even fit. It's a little tight, so we're going to take off just a little bit more. Sticky stuff. I'm going to cut off a whole I kind of like the top of this. Try to sort of cut it straight. Probably did not, but... I know, I hear you. Use your cutter. I know. <laughs> uh, when lazy happens, I'll just say that. Okay, so I need to back this to give it some, a little more structure. It's just um, glue page, you know, two pieces of book page. And then I added the tissue onto it, but that didn't um, make it super strong. So we're going to add a piece of paper to the back. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Let's do... Not coffee dyed envelopes. I think we're gonna use this one right here. One of my random splatters. That I love. This piece of paper is pretty cool too. This is just, um, you know, paper that I've had down to do different inking. This is all Tim Holtz oxide ink. Which we love. This is nice and clean, but this has some black in it, and I think I like that. So I'm going to put the glue on this side. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I just thought these might be fun to do. Do some trial and errors, because I haven't done a ton on anything but watercolor paper, so... be just fun to use for journals. The only thing is obviously it might take you a little more time because you are using a wet medium and then you know but it's watercolor it doesn't take tons of time it's no different than like coffee dye or any of those kind of things. This is my Hobby Lobby gift card that I got for my birthday. <laughs> Makes a great scraper because it's nice and that hard plastic. I'm going to round my corners. That'll make it easier to slide. Oh, maybe Just round um, the corners. Makes it easier to slide in and out. That's a little trick. Actually, I think I'm gonna use the bigger, the bigger rounder. Um, yeah, if you're having trouble getting, especially those long, tall pockets. If you don't know, you may already know. But if you round the corners at the bottoms it will go in and out of a long tall skinny pocket easier i 
I've decided they should orient punches this way. Like have the, because we all end up flipping them over to look where it's going. I don't know why they are oriented the way that they are. Now this, oh, I did add purple. I forgot to tell you guys that. I did add the purple because I, I just want, a little, I want that over here. I wanted a little more to go with the outside, right? So they look like they go together. I want to see. This is going to go in nicely. Are you going to play nice? There we go. That's just kind of cool like that. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be like that, right about there. I'm going to put on a little ink around the photo. This. I don't really want to cover up the purple, but I just really like this. Just use a piece of it. It just looks so old and like, I don't know, cool. Um, let's see, what else? One of our this and that labels, maybe or a bingo bit. That's a bird. That one's not awful. big. Too big. And there's one already cut out. That's a little bit bigger. Because this way. I keep wanting to, to go the other way. <laughs> Blends a little bit, huh? that little washi sticker. I didn't know what it was doing in there, but that was very nice. Victorian era gentleman. <laughs> oh, 
at it again. If I don't glue that down um, upside down, it'll be a miracle. I'm gonna put the flowers on first. Put some glue on those. And then what I'll probably do is stitch around that and add a little piece of fabric over there um, at the side. I think I want to do Oh wow, that's a really big one. It's a little bigger than I wanted. I didn't realize it was that big. Ah. I'm gonna go around the photo just a little. And even on the photo a little. I don't know, I'm, I'm like I'm doing this for some reason on everything. Which makes me happy. Okay. It will slide into this pocket. Our gentleman peeking out. Very nice. And then once it uh, sits for a bit, you put it under a book or something because it is a little wavy, wavy. See, wavy. <laughs> but I like it. All right, let's see what else. We could do one of these pockets. And then I would probably let you go. So again, this is just a single book page folded in half, kind of like the pockets we did the other day, only I put one thumb notch and it opens all the way down. So I just put glue here and across the bottom. You can see I did actually a little flap like a coin envelope, but you don't have to do that. Um, but I did just glue it so that it stays closed. And I don't know what we'll put inside because I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to get some color on here. I actually might go ahead and do, no, I'll do that after if I want to. What colors do I want on this one? I didn't want it real dark. Just kind of a light bit of color on there. Oh joy, it's motorcycle time. <laughs> It's fun to make a video, isn't it? That wasn't too bad. Maybe we could blow a little bit of that. Just see what what it does. Yeah. Just gives you some color and like interest, you know. So I think we've come to the conclusion that this is an ink blower, air puffer. <laughs> Somebody mentioned a Tim Holtz air blower or something like that, but I've had it for years. It's not, it's not Tim Holtz, so I'm not sure. But anyways, it just blows air. But it's got one of those little, you know, air suction things right there. So it's a little bit different like the things you suck babies' noses out with. Um, 
but very similar concept. All right, do I want anything more on there? I kind of am liking that to just the way it is. I might just add a tiny bit more of the, the brown, which is Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Just because I like it. Um, And that's the Stabilo All again. And this paper I'm gonna to have to be gentle with because it's very old book page. So I don't know if this is even gonna to hold together. We'll see once it's dry. Speaking of that, I'm gonna get it dry. Okay, and I'm back and it's all dry. And I love the texture of these with that tissue paper on there. I just think it is really cool. So that is fun. Definitely give it a try if you haven't, which I'm sure most people have because tissue paper or um, sewing tissue or whatever everybody's been playing with for a long time. I'm trying to see where I put my... I needed that one. This is just a Tim Holtz script stamp. It has been very well loved. It's got cat hair on it. Are you surprised? He walks by and stuff gets cat hair on it. I'm telling you. Gotta go give them a bath. They need a bath. I like that. Always got to get it on my table. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what you get when you don't have a, something under it, you know. All right, so what do we want to put on there? I was thinking it might be fun to put on one of these. Oh, I wonder if one of those would work. These mushroom stamps. That might be kind of cool. <clears throat> I got these on Amazon. And I will try to remember to link them again. I've linked them in other videos. They are very fun because they're sort of like all the stamp stuff already together. Oh, I don't know what I could do. I'm going to put one of these on first. These... Stamp washi, or the, yeah, like postage stamps. I'll do it after. <laughs> Time's a wasting, people. Where did I put my. That's going to stick. But I want to do this with that part, like the cancellation over the stamp, even though it's already got one up there, but it doesn't matter. Those like just fit. You do have to make sure that you press all the parts of it down because it will not stamp where you don't press, which I know a lot of stamps are like that, but it seems to be particular, particularly picky about that. See, it still didn't even get it entirely where the mushroom was, and that's probably because of the texture and the tissue paper, but that's okay. So, like, just like that, I think that's good. And then, um, 
you know, you would make a tag to go in it too and think about what I wanted in there yet. But anyway, just playing today. So I hope you guys like that. I think I might want to put just some splatters on there and maybe like that. Maybe, oh my gosh, I dropped that book. Have a mess, you guys. I'm sure you're shocked. These just don't do that. Yep, that's what it needed. Just a little, just a little something else. There's that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you try um, using some watercolors on some pieces that normally you might not because it's just sort of fun. Adds a little something and it's just something different and definitely doesn't add layers. Like, I mean, it doesn't add thickness, which is awesome. So, um, definitely give it a try and I will chat with you guys again soon. Love you guys. Bye.